I'm Sarah Birch with Kingsness News, and here's your top headlines. Today, September 21st, 2023. Protests organized by Hands Off Our Kids, as well as counter protests, took place across the country on Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. In Kingston, they happened on both sides of Ontario Street. About 200 members of the group called Hands Off Our Kids gathered in front of City Hall to oppose what they perceive as the forceful promotion of sexual orientation and gender ideology in schools. Across the street in Confederation Basin, rainbow flags flew and music pumped as about 300 counter-protesters chanted, Trans rights are human rights. MP for Kingston and the Islands Mark Gerritsen released a statement today saying that he stands with the two S LGBTQ plus communities and allies to celebrate resilience and advocate for a safer and more inclusive Canada. Residents in Kingston's West End, along with the parents of students that attend Frontenac Secondary School, were alarmed to see a large presence from the local fire department at the school on the morning of Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. At approximately 7.25 a.m., Kingston Fire and Rescue arrived and handled the situation at hand, an electrical fire contained to one of the two gymnasiums within the school that didn't spread beyond a light fixture and the floor where parts of that light fixture fell. All students and staff at Frontenac, including those at Lacadie, remained outside the school until firefighters cleared the scene at approximately 9.35 a.m. The Marine Museum of the Great Lakes at Kingston, founded in 1975 and located at the historic Kingston Dry Dock National Historic Site, is a beloved feature of the downtown Kingston waterfront. In anticipation of the arrival of the SS Kiwatin next month, the museum has updated its name to simply the Great Lakes Museum. The new name also comes with a new logo, which features five flowing waves representing the five Great Lakes. Kingston Police have released the above photos and are asking for the public's assistance in identifying two individuals suspected of stealing items in the area of Bennington Court. According to Kingston Police, between the beginning of May and the middle of September 2023, multiple thefts occurred in that area and the same two suspects have been captured each time on security video. Anyone with information is asked to contact Detective J. LaChapelle at 613-549-4660, extension 6294, or via email at jlachapelle at kingstonpolice.ca. At its Tuesday, September 19, 2023 meeting, Kingston City Council voted to approve a nine-month pilot project, which will see the city partner with Renewal Squared Incorporated of Trenton, Ontario, to facilitate textile donation bins at city-owned buildings. The program will seek to divert materials such as linens and towels from ending up in area landfills at no cost to the municipality. Kingston Health Sciences Centre will soon be home to a PET-CT scanner, which will provide advanced imaging for both adults and pediatric patients. Patients in southeastern Ontario will soon have improved access to this state-of-the-art imaging technology, and construction begins later this month to build a home for the PET-CT scanner at KGH. According to the Centre, PET-CT is extremely sensitive and effective for non-invasive detection, diagnosis, and monitoring of cancer treatment. On Tuesday, September 19, 2023, Utilities Kingston issued a follow-up statement asking the media to amplify their messaging about the scam reported on previously by the Kingstonists. The utilities company said, please spread the word and help us protect people in Kingston from this scam. This morning alone, we received four phone calls from victims of this scam. The scammers appear to be targeting realtors and homeowners who recently listed their property for sale. Anyone who has been contacted by someone posing as a utility representative and threatening to disconnect services is asked to contact Utilities Kingston. One Saturday this October, Joyceville Institution will be hosting its first ever artisan market, with proceeds going to the local United Way. According to a representative from the CSC, staff at the facility first conceived the event as part of the Government of Canada Workplace Charitable Campaign. This year, the campaign runs from September to December. Through the campaign, public servants can support United Way, Health Partners, or any other registered Canadian charity of their choosing anywhere in Canada. For more on these stories and other local news, please visit kingsnist.com and subscribe.